Aha, there is a sign for Manta. I'm sorry, you're just going to hear me say wow a lot during this video, which I imagine is not the best content, but wow. Maybe I'll just turn to Owen Wilson. And there we have the sign for Manta. Find another spot at high speeds. It will be excellent. There's absolutely no queue in the station, so that's promising. So I've just had my first ride on Manta. That was really good fun. Now, it's not a top tier Intamin multi-launch coaster. It's not quite at the level of a Velocicoaster or a Gotham City Escape, but that's still a really, really good roller coaster. It's a really long layout. It has three launches in total. I think I counted three, maybe four inversions. There was a, there was a corkscrew in there. There was quite a nice height line roll. Uh, there was a stall, love a stall. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I wanna go and get another couple more rides and then maybe I'll be able to articulate my thoughts a little bit better. So I kind of felt like I had my own personal roller coaster there. I walked back into the station. There was nobody else there. The roller coaster was just waiting for me. And I just got straight onto the back row and had another ride. So there's like four or five ride ops down there, all just kind of chilling. They're super friendly. They're all really engaging, which helps the experience as well. That is a really good roller coaster. So straight up, I'm gonna put it out there. It's one of the weaker Intamin multi-launch LSM coasters. In some respects, it feels more family thrill than outright thrill. And in a respect, it's like a modern day cheetah hunt, but better than cheetah hunt, if that makes sense. Uh, it certainly feels a lot slower than the likes of Velocicoaster and Tatartis, but still a really good ride. Uh, I did notice at the back there, there was a bit more of a rattle, but it was a completely empty train. And as I've noticed with quite a few rides out here, um, riding with an empty train, obviously there's a bit less weight, and so I guess it just bounces along the track a little bit more than it would ordinarily. I mean, as far as ride entrances go, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Well, Manta is still a walk-on, so I think at least another two rides are in, in order, aren't they? So a third ride on Manta there. I'm back in the queue for number four because there's no queue. But um, that's a really good ride, actually. It feels like it's warmed up a bit. I rode in the middle there. Uh, it felt a little bit smoother. I felt like there's a little bit more airtime. The inversions kind of hit a bit better, so it does feel like it's warmed up a little. I also want to give a massive shout out to the ride ops here who are super friendly and chatty and really enhancing the overall experience of the ride. So you can't really see, but just through the other side of the tank there is actually the station for Manta. So the train comes through a corner through here, past this tank from the other side, and then goes out to the launch section there, but it's very well hidden. Like, you can barely see it's through there. But from the other side, you can see all of this. Yeah, it's a very impressive coaster. It's got better with every ride. I, I got another front row ride on that occasion. And uh, yeah, it's definitely warmed up. It's, it's definitely a little bit quicker, a little bit more forceful.